good morning welcome back to the channel it's almost nine o'clock in the morning i just came back from doing groceries actually because i realized i didn't have breakfast they still had all like the freshly baked goods so i also got myself some freshly baked croissants for this morning <laughs> welcome to a a week in the life of a student vlog i am a neuroscience student at the university of amsterdam in the netherlands and i wanted to make a vlog to kind of show you what it's like specifically because i am currently doing an internship actually it's one of the things that i'm really excited about and i haven't told you about it yet but before i graduate i still need an internship another internship if you've been following this channel you know that i also did an internship like last year but i needed a second one to graduate the past few years i've had a pretty hard time finding internships so i'm really happy that this year my final internship actually went really smoothly and i'm really excited about what i'm going to do it's a remote internship so i'm going to be doing it from home and it's at one of the hospitals of harvard medical school which is still a wild concept to me <laughs> but i'm really excited about it um there's like this research group that has people from like all over the world working together i'm going to be doing research on gene expression in the emotion regulation center in the brain i think i'll try to explain that later in the vlog but yeah i just want to show you what a typical week in my life is like this morning i actually have a class because we still have some classes from the university of amsterdam during our first weeks of the internship to kind of teach us some extra things and this morning i actually have a python class because i'm gonna learn how to python code <laughs> because coding actually is pretty relevant to the field that i'm in if you're working with like a lot of data and stuff you need to learn how to code a little bit to do some statistics magic so i'm gonna eat my freshly baked croissants and then attend the zoom class for python and i will show you the rest of the week i really hope you're going to enjoy this vlog and we'll have a good time together we're done with the lecture the next lecture is on thursday so it's gonna be mostly working for myself for now and continue with the internship stuff you might be wondering leonie if you are in biology neurobiology why do you need to learn to code well that's because i like the kind of research that i'm doing and the people in my class are doing deals with very large data sets you know like there are a lot of genes in your body so far in our assignments uh, the past year, we've been working with data sets of like 10,000, 20,000 genes. And if you're working with a data set that large, you kind of have to learn how to code because coding makes it really easy to work with data. I know I personally, and I know a lot of people have always seen coding as like something you do if you want to build a website or build some software, but you can also use it to do like statistical analysis on large data sets so that's what i do so during my internship when i'm going to be working with amygdala data so emotion center in the brain i have to do some coding but i still have to figure out what i'm going to do because my goal for this week is i have to get far with writing my data analysis plan basically i have to write this plan with my research question and what I'm going to do and how I'm going to analyze the data and I still have a lot to do so that's what I'm going to be busy with this week tomorrow I have a meeting with my supervisor and I still need to read some stuff before that meeting <laughs> but for now it's the afternoon I'm gonna make lunch and then after that I'm just gonna go for a walk because otherwise I'm just sitting in this room the whole day and that's not good even though I've done that multiple times i know it's not good so i'm gonna go for a walk i think i'm also gonna start listening to an audiobook while i'm at it so for the past few months 
I've been busy reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I've been wanting to read these classics for such a long time. The vibes are so much different than I thought. I thought it was going to be horror, but it's actually pretty fitting for this vlog, you know, about mad scientists, ambition, biology, <laughs> you know, like creating, bringing this human made from human parts to life. I really like it. And lately, in order to get through it a bit faster, I've also started listening to the audiobook, which has helped really well, actually. So I'm just gonna listen to the audiobook while I make my lunch and then go for a walk. I also want to take another moment of appreciation for the beautiful artwork that is in this book. It is 7 p.m. in the evening. I spent the entire afternoon filling in forms and online things and administration, just so much stuff that was necessary to do as an intern, like a new intern. So that took up my whole afternoon. I am brain dead right now. Um, and I didn't actually get to do anything for my actual internship like actually for my research so tomorrow i really really need to finally start doing a lot of the things that i still need to get done i am very tired i'm not gonna do anything for the rest of the evening tomorrow we'll work hard and i'll show you how i work from home and how i approach doing this research and what i need to do and all that fun stuff Today it's about drive, it's about power, we stay hungry, we devour, but not too much because we also care about our free time. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Tuesday morning and today is gonna be a day of hard work. Today I'm really going to work on the research that I'm going to be doing for my internship to write the plan that I want to have finished at the end of the week. Um, so I thought first maybe it's a good idea to give you a little bit more context of what I'm actually doing. And doing an internship basically means that I'm doing my own research project. It's kind of like when you do a thesis, you do your own research and that's what I do. I study at the University of Amsterdam, but you can do your internship anywhere you want. So I'm doing it at a research group at Harvard. And just like when you write an essay, you kind of have to make an essay plan. I have to make a research plan where I kind of think about what I'm actually going to do and how I'm going to get there. So in simple terms, the research that I'm going to be doing is on the amygdala, which is the emotion center in your brain. So it is involved in diseases like anxiety disorders or PTSD, but also just your regular emotion regulation. And I'm going to be looking at the gene expression in that region. So the reason that I can just do this internship and research completely from home is that it's mostly just data. So they have a bunch of brain data. They send it to me. I do my little, my little data magic on it. And then hopefully I will learn things about the brain. I'm really feeling like that, that one picture of, um, who is it? Shakira behind her computer, like. <laughs> so how I go about 
planning this thing is I have this method that I just like to call the info dump where I just read as much information as possible, just articles about the brain and looking at what other researchers have done in this field and looking at certain genes that might be interesting and I just throw all the information that I can find into one big file. It's just a lot of information. It's just one huge file of just all the information that I could find that I think is relevant. And once I've collected all the relevant information, everything kind of falls into place and I go over it again and decide what is relevant and what is not and start making decisions and stuff. Um, <laughs> The the con of this method is that for a very long time I actually don't know what I'm doing because I'm just accumulating information so I do have a meeting later. Um, I don't really have that much to show so, <laughs> so I hope that's gonna be fine and not making me look bad, I don't know. My goal for today is to just finish this info dump and just read all the articles that I still have lined up that I want to read. Hopefully tomorrow I can start like writing things down. Okay, so me and my housemate I've kind of been studying together because she's also doing some self-studying um, so we just do it together to motivate each other but the thing is if you're working from home at some point you kind of need like a change in environment so right now we're just gonna head out to a cafe the bagels and beans to work there and just get a coffee and just have a little bit of a different environment that also gives good you know like social pressure to actually be working because you're not gonna like secretly watch YouTube when you're in a cafe so we're gonna go there and then do some more working there. I still haven't started reading the articles that I wanted to read because I again spent time on just filing out forms that needed to be filed out so this afternoon I will be reading the articles that I need to read. Hola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mysterious head. Oh, who could it be? Not, not someone, someone you've ever seen before. No, not someone who was in the room just now. Back <laughs> now. Oh, I'm gonna fit check doen. Gonna take it off for the vlog. Ik wil outfit leuk van de. Yeah. Yeah. There go. Woo. Maar ik vind mijn oorbellen een match in mijn shirt. Ja, dus het match wel echt heel goed. <laughs> Oh wow, <laughs> Hello, I just came back from working in the Vegas and Beans for the entire afternoon. So that was actually my first time just really like spending an afternoon working in a little cafe. It's definitely expensive because you have to buy you know, like teas and lattes and stuff in order to be able to sit there, but it was really nice and I actually did get, I didn't get distracted at all and it was such a nice way to just kind of have a different environment. I do notice that I do get tired pretty quickly just from all the, you know, cafe sounds <laughs> at some point, um, but we decided to stop a little early around four o'clock because here in the Netherlands currently all the shops close at five instead of six because the COVID situation is kind of bad here, unfortunately. So we decided to stop early so we could still go to the shops before they closed because we had to buy presents for our other housemate uh, whose birthday is this weekend. So we bought her a bunch of nail polishes. And while we were there, I also bought a bunch of stuff. Um, I bought 
haul time I bought batteries. Beautiful. We love a practical woman. <laughs> oh wait, let me show you. I needed batteries because these lights have been like out of power for so long. Oh, don't look at my really messy couch. Let me show you. Very dark right now, but look. It's so cozy. Oh, this is so cute as a background. It's really dark right now, but oh, this is such a cozy shot. I love this. <laughs> Um, and because we were buying nail polish for our housemate, I also caved and bought a bunch of nail polish colors, which you cannot see in this light, but I'll show them to you when it's daylight again. Very autumnal colors. So I think I'm going to paint my nails. This is a, like a glittery dark gray, which I think is super interesting. And then I'm going to spend another hour just doing the rest of my reading so I get like all of my hours in. I still have about three articles <laughs> that I want to have finished today about the amygdala. So then I have finished my dump. Um, I had a, a chat with my supervisor today and we kind of went over what I already had, which is really nice. She also told me that I next Monday I need to give the presentation to the whole group <laughs> of researchers. So I need to have that ready by around Thursday so she can also look over it. So tomorrow, Wednesday, I really need to start working on the actual plan. So the info dump needs to be ready today. So I have about three more articles that I want to read. So I'm gonna do that right now and hopefully I'll be done by that within an hour. It's a bit generous, <laughs> but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna paint my nails and then read some more. And then we've had a super productive day. Oh man, I can't get over how cute this situation is. I know you cannot see my face right now, but the vibes are immaculate though. <laughs> Hello, so I didn't actually get to finish reading all the articles that I wanted to get done today because it turns out reading articles always takes a lot longer than you expect but today was a super productive day I'm really happy with just like the time that I was able to spend working on this without getting distracted and just having someone to sit with me and going to the cafe and stuff uh, so tomorrow <laughs> we have to finish two more papers because I didn't get them finished but that's okay because we're gonna keep up this energy tomorrow. Woo. <laughs> okay, that's it. Good night. I am making a secret Santa Christmas card that I still have to send. I'm making my own black card and I really want to make it look pretty and kind of vintagey so first i'm just gonna check out what color will look best on the black paper just testing out on a linen piece the rose gold oh it's pretty silver that's very legible gold that's pretty plain white <laughs> they're all good <laughs> I think this one's a bit too thick to be able to write like a full card and then white's a bit boring and silver's the most legible.
Hello, it is already the afternoon actually. I just took a shower because that's why my hair is wet. I washed my hair, just took a shower because I thought an afternoon shower would be like a nice break from work. I finished reading the amygdala articles that I still wanted to read. So I have finished my info dump that I wanted to have finished yesterday actually. I think maybe it is fun to show you some things that I wanted to show you. This is a part of the brain. You can probably kind of recognize it from like these squiggly lines. And this thing is the amygdala. So this is where your emotions are regulated. And there are like different regions within the amygdala that all have different colors here. Um, so this is the place where you learn fear, basically. This is where your emotional learning happens. So for example, if you get into a situation that is really stressful or like really scary, then this is the place where you remember that next time you're in that situation, you will have to feel fear again, because you recognize the situation that it makes you scared. And this is another picture of it. Like, I didn't make this, by the way. This is just articles that I've been reading. Ooh, this is the amygdala and all its different regions. Isn't that cool? This is just the fact that we just know that this is in your brain. I think that's cool. But to be fair, the rest of the day has been kind of slow. I've been feeling pretty tired. Now that I have the, I have been looking through all the information that was in my info dump to kind of start making a plan. Um, I kind of at that moment right now where I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Rationally, I know that I go through a phase like that every single time. Every single time I have to make an assignment or do an internship, there's always a moment where you feel like you don't really know what's going on. And rationally, I know that that passes. But in practice, I just feel really bad about it. And I'm kind of at that point right now where I'm like, what? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, how am I gonna turn in this plan? Like, I'm afraid it's just gonna be so full of mistakes and just making no sense. And I just have to continue working on it. By the way, tomorrow I am going to Amsterdam because we have a class on Python neuroimaging, if I'm correct. And we're gonna be doing that in Amsterdam. It's fun, so I can take you along there. Um, but for now, I thought it would be interesting to kind of show you what I do, how I go about it when I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm organizing my thesis stuff in Notion, like I do with everything. <laughs> so this is my internship page. This is a link to the page where I write my data plan. This is some links to like coding packages that I need and I just like make random notes here but all the way down here I have like a to-do list it's like a board where I can be like oh if I didn't get this finished I can just swipe it over to the next day and then if I've done it I will just delete it so for now I've just made a list of things that I know I probably still have to look at in order to write my plan even though it's kind of all still a mess in my head. At least I just have like a list of things that I know I can look at. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to finish what I have to hand in because my supervisor still have to look, has to look it over before Monday and I don't want to hand it in on like Friday evening, <laughs> you know? It all looks so cool. Like it's really awesome what you can do with this and just like see a part of the brain and like the gene expression. It's cool, but I just have to <laughs> learn how to understand how to actually do this. <laughs> also, finding out about the dual screen option, like changed my life. Don't ask me why I didn't know this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, good morning. I am off to grab all my stuff because I'm going to campus for the afternoon. Science campus where all the science -y stuff is happening. Grab my laptop. I spent the morning uh, working on the ooh, <laughs> presentation again and I have not really made a lot of progress. You know what I did yesterday is I went through all of the steps for the plan and then I highlighted things for which I thought I need to look at that more and this morning I started looking at the highlights <laughs> but then when I looked into the things that I had highlighted I just came across more things that I should probably look into like you learn more and you're like oh well that means I should probably also look into this more and then highlighted another thing more and I now I just have more highlights than what I started with so um remember that the plan was supposed to be done today it's not it's not at all and I don't have the rest of the afternoon to work on it it's only half past 11 but I don't have the rest of the afternoon to work on it because I have to go to class and it's like an hour train ride. Also, <laughs> I don't think I mentioned anywhere in this video, but I don't live in Amsterdam because it's really expensive. So I live in another city that is about an hour train ride away, which is fine because other people in my class live in Amsterdam and they still have to travel like 45 minutes because Amsterdam is so big. So honestly, not a big difference. I'm hoping that maybe today after class I can go into Amsterdam for a bit to just kind of walk around the city as kind of a break because I'll probably be really tired after the class today because I usually am. So now I'm just um, grabbing all of my stuff. Water bottle and I'm gonna take the train and also probably read some of Frankenstein in the train. all the shops are closed right now but because of that it's there are not a lot of people so i'm just going for a quick walk in amsterdam because i'm not there very often because i'm usually just at canvas so but everything's really pretty with all the christmas lights classmates again don't get me wrong i really really like working from home it works very well for me but just you know once in a while it is really nice to just be able to speak to your fellow classmates who are also doing all their internships and just kind of talking about how it's going and just catching up for a bit it's like <laughs> kind of like a paradoxical thing where if you talk to your classmates about how you're doing with your internship and the assignments or general study things on the one hand it can be bad because you shouldn't compare yourself to other people you know i've talked about this before because then you just start feeling bad about yourself you should just compare yourself to yourself but i noticed today sometimes it can also actually be good to kind of compare yourself to what other people are doing to kind of relativate 
what you are doing because like I said for the past few days I'm never really sure if what I'm doing is like the right thing <laughs> when you are the only person working on it you don't speak to any other people about their projects and you're just like I'm just gonna sit her alone with this project and I'm gonna make it bigger and bigger and bigger because it's the only thing I'm doing all day and then it becomes a really important thing when it's not <laughs> anyway I still need to finish my plan but I'm gonna try to get up a little earlier tomorrow so I can start a little earlier and then send it to my supervisor so she'll still have some time to look at it and then I can finish the day earlier you know so I'll have like an early afternoon so now I'm just gonna read a little bit before bed I've almost finished Frankenstein uh, things are getting things are happening in here things are getting a little a little dramatic you know people are dying I mean people have been dying all throughout this book oh my god so many people are dying in this book kind of drama down there in Geneva Switzerland between Frankenstein and his monster and I'm excited to see how it's gonna end I finished it super productive morning i finished it i have no idea if it's good at some point you just look at your own data for way too long and then you're like i don't know if any of this is making sense or if i need to make things different but i sent it to my supervisor so we'll see what she says about it and now i'm gonna have lunch and chill for a bit. I got some lunch, got a little bit more ready, wore some makeup. What I'm gonna do now is something that I have been meaning to do for quite a while. I got some, how do you call these, like poster sticky tabs because you've probably seen that I like hanging things on my wall. There's a bunch of stuff over there, <laughs> there's stuff over there, and then there's more stuff over there, um, but there used to be more because <laughs> Like these sticky things, they get bad and over the past few months they've slowly all been falling off and I've been trying to put them back on um, but I didn't have new sticky tabs to make them stick so I finally got new ones so we can return some of our fallen soldiers back to the wall and make them stick again and have the wall be up again. Okay, first I have to rescue the fallen ones. They're probably behind here. On this wall, I mostly hang postcards and whenever I make something, the, the, the very few times in my life that I actually draw something, I will also usually hang it on there. But every time I go on holiday or just like visit a nice place, I tend to buy a postcard there and then I hang it on the wall. Oh, I just realized I have postcards that I bought in Paris that I haven't even joined, let join this wall, so. <laughs> So there's even more. We have to figure out a placement for them. Hey. I think these are both Renoirs. Yes, these are both Renoirs. I got these at Musée d'Orsay. We love modern art on this channel. If I make something with watercolor, the paper starts bubbling and it makes it really hard to hang it flush against the wall. And that's why they all fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Here is where I usually hang the more kind of botanical, medical, vintage kind of stuff. I have butterflies. This one is actually dated. On the back it says 99. Oh my god, I'm holding something that is over 100 years old. 
To be fair, like these things aren't super valuable. I got all of these at just a normal market. This one's not like vintage, it's just like an actual, just like modern poster. And this is an infographic about the pathways of human cancer in the cell that I got in one of my textbooks for school. And then two more vintage ones. We have the hearts, the human hearts on the back side. It is the innervation and vascularization of the neck. I really like this one as well, but I just, I want to keep the hearts on display. And then we also have some hands, some skeleton handy bones. Oh, and then here I also, <laughs> I have the lungs and like the torso. I think this one is, oh, this one's really old. That's, that, that's why it's in plastic. This one is from 1879. The drawing of these pictures are closer in time to the publication of Frankenstein than they are to today, like this moment right now. Because this is from 1818 and this is from 1879. <laughs> but break time's over. I'm now going to continue my presentation, look at what my supervisor said about it and just kind of implement all the changes so that at the end of the day, it'll be finished. Okay, so yesterday evening I finished adding all the feedback to my presentation. Not everything because I still had some questions about some of the feedback, so I'll probably get answers to that on Monday. Actually, Monday is when the big thing's gonna happen because then I'm gonna have to actually present my plan, but we don't have to think about that yet. <laughs> I also finished reading Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I really enjoyed this story. I'm gonna be honest, I think I enjoyed first... 50 to 100 pages the most, which is about Victor Frankenstein creating Frankenstein. I actually really like that part. I think this is a book about regret and also loneliness. I really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna give it four stars. Anyway, that was a week in my life as a university student doing an internship, science. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this study vlog. If you did, subscribe, because then maybe I'll make more. <laughs> I feel like this vlog was a little more low-key than my other vlogs. I kind of did that on purpose to kind of try to give it a more vlo actual vloggy feeling and a little less polished, so let me know what you thought of that. I mean, if you're still watching, you probably enjoyed it, otherwise you wouldn't be watching right now, but anyone who is still watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon in another one. Goodbye. Peace.